Hi, I'm Dr. Jane from AskAnAlly.com. Many people write in who are struggling with issues of aging. If we are lucky, we end up coping with being older and wiser than everyone else. This luck has its challenges. For example, most people you count on for help and support haven't been there yet. We don't really understand what you are going through. It's hard, especially under these circumstances, to find a voice, to figure out how to talk about the struggles we live with. We don't always know how to reach out and start the conversations. These are conversations we often long to have. Some of these conversations may be family. As we age, our entire family goes through a transition. All the dynamics that have been played out through the years revisit us during this time. Competence. Our society tends to start treating people as they age as if they're peripheral in their own lives. How often do people talk about you as if you aren't there? It's hard to know how to demand the respect that you deserve and that of course you want. Fear. At every stage of life, there are fears to cope with. Often, the fears we face are, as we age, are fears others don't really want to or know how to talk about. Frustration. Frustration is an understatement when we talk about the challenges that come with physical changes. What you once could do without thinking, you have to prepare to manage. The simplest of tasks can become major stumbling blocks. Next stage decisions. Many people find it hard and uncomfortable and painful to talk about wills and funeral arrangements. You may not want to be thinking about it, but if you are thinking about it, it can be twice as painful not to have others join you in the process. If it's on your mind, it can be horribly lonely if others won't participate. Sometimes just naming these issues can help. Sometimes finding a way to vent and commiserate can take away the egg. The edge. But sometimes more coping tools are needed. Consider what it would be that would be helpful to you. The more clear you are about what you need, the more likely you are to be able to create it. If you just need to name the issues, the first challenge is to find someone who knows how to listen. This may be an adult child or a caregiver, a friend or a therapist. The trick is to let that person know that you just need to be able to say it out loud. Be direct in saying that you aren't looking for problem solving. You just need someone to know the things you're thinking about. If you're looking to vent or commiserate, you may be more successful if you find someone else who is coping with the same issues. This isn't necessarily true. If you find a listener who is younger, again, be direct in saying what you need, that you want to take some time to vent. It may well be important to say that that does not mean that you're looking to brainstorm solutions. Often, and especially if commiseration would feel supportive, finding a cohort is the trick. Sometimes this comes naturally as you interact with an old friend or if your home is in assisted living. Sometimes not. If you're having trouble finding the right spot for these talks to begin, it might be helpful to find a support or therapy group. Either way, knowing this is what you need will help you proceed with intention and make it more likely to happen. Don't be afraid of making someone else uncomfortable. If the other person doesn't want to have the conversation, you'll know soon enough. Being uncomfortable in the moment isn't pleasant, but it doesn't mean something bad. You'll pick up on the social cue and you'll move on. Don't give up. Being vulnerable has its risks, but it also has very satisfying rewards. If you keep trying, you'll eventually find the right person, and that will be worth any discomfort that came before. You deserve to have the kind of support you need. It isn't easy being older and wiser than everyone else. Give yourself the best chance to have good company in the process.